here in the Los Angeles area with Vic Marie, also known as Slim Thick Vic. You know, you've been in the industry coming up on a year now. You started in October of 2021, and yeah. you have been blowing up. I mean, getting Aww. great scenes for big companies, creating a huge buzz. Well, what's your first year been like? I mean, are you surprised how quickly things have happened for you? Or? I've been having a blast. Yeah. I mean, I didn't have any expectations, to be honest. Yeah. Um, but I've been having a blast, and it's been more than I could have ever imagined, yeah. so I'm very I, happy. I, I know when you first got into the industry, one of your goals was to sign with Mark Spiegel. I, yes. I heard people talk yes. about that. Tell me, tell me your, your thought process on that when you were first getting in. Well, I had only heard bad things about porn, right. honestly. Mm -hmm. So when I heard about Mark, it was like, he's the best, like, you can't go wrong with him. So um, I had in my mind, like, if he didn't take me, then I wasn't going to do porn. Right, right. Thankfully, he took me, and here I am. Yes, yes. But, yeah, I reached out to him, and he set me up, and mm -hmm. it's been amazing. Yeah, he's, he's a good one. He's the best one, or one of the best ones out there. Uh, you know, you've got an interesting backstory. Uh, mm -hmm. You didn't really, I believe you lost your virginity at age 21. Yeah. Is that right? Tell, tell me a little bit right. about your upbringing and, and, you know, why you were a little, little bit later entering the industry than some. Yeah, um, mm -hmm. I had a really sheltered um, mm -hmm. childhood and up until 21 when I left home, uh, very sheltered. Lived in a bit of a cult for mm -hmm. um, a lot of my childhood. Um, and, and sex was, sex was not a Was thing. very taboo. Yeah, it's like no sex before marriage type thing. Right. Um, yeah, and I ventured my way into the sex industry. I became a stripper and started OnlyFans and then finally made my way to porn. Yeah. Well, when you're living in an environment where sex is kind of frowned upon, how does one become interested in it? Or, I mean, <laughs> were you sneaking off and, and watching porn? Were you, no, did you have I boyfriends? Was, did you, no, yeah. up until 21, it was literally like, no, I was a virgin and didn't have any boyfriends, didn't watch porn. Mm -hmm. But I knew that because I had lived so much of my life up until then, like just very sheltered and not not having any choices to, to make uh, decisions as far as what I wanted to do, that once I had the option, like I was gonna take every opportunity I could. So, so if what, anything sparked my interest, I was gonna go for it. it so what was the first step once you kind of you know, moved away from the, the cult and kind of started living your own life. What, what was, how did things progress from there? I mean, it was slow. I didn't get into sex work until I was um, maybe 25. Mm -hmm. so, and that was the stripping? Or? Yeah, it was stripping. Mm -hmm. Actually, first, very first thing was nude modeling. Okay. Um, okay. And then stripping. But um, I had my own little business. So I, I went the conventional route mm -hmm. first, um, but the sex was always in the back of my mind like right. if I needed to or if I wanted to try something that I was gonna right. go that route. How'd you like stripping? Was it a, some people say it's a real powerful feeling to kind of be on that stage and have you know, guys is. fawning all it over. Is, what was that for like for sure. you? sure. I mean um, it's definitely a powerful feeling. Um, it's fun to be able to dance to music and put on a show mm -hmm. but you know, there's a lot of bullshit you have to deal with as well being a stripper so right. I wouldn't want to go back to it but it was a great experience. I wouldn't take it back. Um, but at this point in my life, I'm right. much better. It was a step. It helped it kind of yeah, led you to absolutely. where you are today. Now that you're in the industry, kind of describe what it is about, you know, making an adult film that, that you like. What, what kind of uh, fulfillment does it mm. give you? Well, I actually do have a bit of an acting background. Mm -hmm. um, and I always wanted to be an actress in high school. That was mm -hmm. my thing. So I'd never imagined I was going to be this kind of an actress. But I love sex and um, acting as well. It has always been something I've enjoyed. So you combine both those together and yeah, there yeah. you have it. Well, also, everyone in the, in the industry is so nice and it's fun to work with people. Yeah, I kind of feel like you have an, yeah, an extended like family here, right? Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. What needs to happen in a scene, in your opinion, for it to be just a fire-ass scene? Like, you know what I mean? Where like, wow, that, that was one of my better ones. What, what, what happens when you when you walk away feeling? Like I mean, that? it's definitely the people. Uh -huh. So as long as uh, everyone's giving their all and open and, you know, not bringing things from offset to the onset, you know, mm -hmm. that's really what creates a, a good experience for everyone and just giving your all and um, being open-minded yeah. and, like, feeding off each other. Are there certain styles of scene, you, scenes that you like or, or things that happen in scenes that you like, whether it's rough or submissive or dominant? Or, I kind of like the variety. Mm -hmm. Like, I've never seen myself as a mom. Uh -huh. uh, I'm not a mom, but I play a lot of mom roles, and then that's fun. I like yeah. that. And then I, 
I play, you know, like some more bondage type stuff, mm -hmm. and then the acting versus the gonzo, like I like it all, to be yeah, honest. Yeah. It's, it's variety, it's fun. You had a really good slave scene uh, with Lily Bell. I've yes, seen talked about, about I it. love Lily yeah, Bell. Yeah, she, she kind of named that as one of her best scenes of the year. Uh, what do you, what, what do you, what'd you like working about, what'd you like about working with Lily? Because she's having a phenomenal she's, run right now. She is absolutely like, such a sweetheart and she's really good at the acting part mm -hmm. for sure like i was just feeding off of her like and learning from her she's been in the industry longer than me she was really good because in the slade scenes they like you to be really vocal and do a lot of dirty talk mm -hmm. which i've had to learn to do mm -hmm. and she's great at that so it was so easy for me to be able to feed off of her her being so good at that Absolutely. already do you uh, set goals for yourself, like when you're looking and planning your next year, next two or three years, like if there's things that you want to get done, or are you just kind of taking it? I'm a, I'm a bit of more of a like just go with the flow, um, but always giving my all. So I don't have like really specific goals, but whatever, wherever I'm going, it's it's because I'm like pushing and I'm giving everything I can. Absolutely. Well, you're off to a great start, and I know Thank it's going you. to continue. But it was Hope great so. meeting you today, and thanks Likewise. for thanks for taking a few minutes. Of course. Okay. <laughs>